<laughs> Hi everybody, how you doing? I'm doing really good. Um, well, I thought I would involve you in today. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be just putting a top coat of resin on this. I'm going to put some Pro Marine uh, tabletop resin on it and these three coasters. So this set, a lot of people have been, it's been going around a lot lately, I noticed. Um, which I'm surprised everybody's getting it at one time. Kind of funny. And someone very nice and uh, kind graciously gifted me this. And that, it actually comes with five coasters. But I made a video doing this and I really went at it the hard way, okay? So I'll try to quickly explain how I did it, which I don't think I'll be doing it that way again, because <laughs> it was quite hard. So here's this, this is about a 13 and a half, and it has little, it's indented, you know? Okay, so grooves, and this portion stand up, these stand up. So what I wanted to, what I did was I took liquid diamonds uh, resin and I used a pipette and went in between all these little dots. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. It, that worked really well with this, this, uh, this is iris mica powder and periwinkle gold mixed together. So it kind of has a shift from blue to purple. You may not see it right now, but once I put resin on it, you, you might, because I was seeing it. But my video was a disaster because, so this part was easy enough, but then I went ahead and started, then I started using my regular premium casting resin for in between here with the pipette. And I went in between Okay, try not to get on top of here. And it managed real well up until then I started pouring some up in here. Then it started to over, kind of went over a little bit, you know, over the tips. So I ended up having to suck some out with the pipette, take a rag, you know, and I just kept going like this. So it was very difficult, but in the end, it worked out. So that was my first layer, was the iris. And then uh, I went ahead and did the gold, okay, on top of it. So this part looked pretty neat, but I wasn't real happy with it, so I changed it. I put glitter over it. Anyway, yeah, it had the gold little spots here. It was the iris in the middle and all these were gold just like it is. And since it was so hard I decided to forget it. <laughs> and I didn't really want it to match completely the set. Um, you know because that was so hard to do so I just decided I'm going to do it the easy way and I poured gold into the molds. And then when you pull it out of the molds you have these grooves. See, so they're in inserted like grooves. And I just went ahead and put some glue and then sprinkled some pretty purple blue glitter in there. And then I went ahead and I put some glue here and put some glitter. And then same with my edges, glitter. And this had some bubbles. There's still some bubbles here. I'm not going to keep sanding them. I'm just going to hope the resin fills them up. And uh, But other than that, it turned out pretty good. Except for right here, there was a little purple. For somehow or another, it got through. I don't know how. But I put some mica, per, mica right there. Uh, okay, so, yeah. So, I covered it. My last layer was the gold. And that's what brought this out. So it's kind of neat because it has sort of like a texture. Okay. And then I decided to go ahead and put some mica powder on this little stud thing I had. 
and put that in the middle. But yeah, you could see there's some flaws and stuff, but uh, resin should take care of all that. But my grooves actually came out really good. See? So hard work paid off, but since it was so hard, I had to sand it down because there was quite a bit of flaws. <laughs> Um, so I sanded it down. Now I'm hoping that one coat of resin on it's going to just, boom, draw it back out again. Anyway, anytime I pour over anything, I will either use glue all if it's really hard to cut out. So I'll lay out a piece of contact paper and I lay my coaster or whatever on it, right? Seal it down real good. Well, and then I'll take a razor exacto blade and go around it and get off all the contact paper and press. Then afterwards, press real firmly. And I did the same to these. But if they're real hard, uh, Tish had showed me one time, you just take some glue all, put it on there, paint it on, let that completely dry. And I swear it peels right up after resin. So if that made any sense, I know that took probably, what, five minutes? Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> but I had to explain how I did it. But the next time, you know, while I was doing it, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm just going to paint it with some mica, mica powder. And like I said, I've seen a lot of people with these. And I've seen Julie do one, a really neat bowl, which she totally gave me. An idea to, to make out of mine. And uh, Julie pouring your heart out. And she painted hers. You know, she painted this with the mica powders. And um, it came out really neat, hers did. And then she draped this over a bowl and made a nice bowl out of it. Pretty cool. So I plan on doing that next, but I think it's turned out absolutely pretty. It's going to be a tray. And, uh, you know, you can make these wall art, or you can even make clocks out of them, I presume, you know. Uh, but I'm just going to leave this set as it is. I'm happy with the outcome, finally. So, anyway, I had some leftover resin I made this little crystal thing I'm gonna put a, some resin on this too to shine it I don't know what that would look like but there's all kinds of mineral rocks you know crystals I'm sure it resembles something and then I made another pyramid little tiny one just with what I had left over and then this was with the iris. <laughs> and a little iris and turtle. <laughs> and a glitter turtle. So, there you go. That's all I'm going to do. So, I put some coat of resin. I wanted to show this to you. Sorry I didn't have the video. Like I said, it was a disaster. It was like, oh my gosh, you should have seen it. It was a mess. And then having it, me fill it up too much, and it was overflowing. Someday I'll do another one, but differently. <laughs> For now, we'll just go ahead and put a top coat on it. I wanted to show it to you. I think it turned out pretty good, considering. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, so I didn't know if you've seen that shift. It's like it's purple, and then blue look at that i kind of seen it when i look back on the video it's pretty neat it's that periwinkle mica powder it's periwinkle glow blue all right so here we go first i'm expecting some glitter to be on there yeah that's i mean i sweeped it all off it's on there real good you let your glue you know, hardening for a good 24 hours. Well, we'll see how it turns out. If not, it's okay. Let's 
same with my coasters. I'm going to sweep them off one more time. Thank you, Daniel, but I can't, I didn't want ice in it. It's okay, though. Thank you. I'm so thirsty. Okay. So, need three cups. Well, you want to cover your bottom so we don't have to worry about drip marks. They look nice for your feet. Cover them with something, you know. If I have some left over, I'm going to cover that Halloween bowl. But yeah, I like this. This is pretty. And I'm just going to pour a little on here, too. Tanner, you have to turn that off. I'm recording. All right, so I have my Promarine. And I'll be muting it when I put on the heat gun. And when you put the heat gun on it, all it really does is it heats it up a little bit so it'll level, help level it, you know, get it a little thinner to move around the level. And it pops all the bubbles in it real good. And gets it clear, gets out all them bubbles because I mix fast. So here we go. I gotta do this one first. I'm just gonna, you know. Come around and then the rest I'm gonna spread it on my finger. She don't have the hairs. Oh my God. Okay. Can we go the other way through? <laughs> yeah, it'll get to the sides real good. Just make sure you get all the spots. So that one's going to still show up probably. But those holes will fill in. Look at it from a side view. Make sure I got all the spots. Yeah, I did. So that's good. Wipe my hand. Turn on the heat gun. Okay, now well, I'm just going to torch it. It didn't cover up all those little flaws, but it's still pretty. That's all right. Like I said, this was just my first one and it was a disaster, but it's still pretty. Big long hair. Okay. So that's good. All right, now for the little coasters. Always put too much. Oh, I do have some left for my vase. That's good.
that's it. I just keep kind of checking it for bubbles. And put this in my drying rack. So I'll take the camera down and we'll take a look at it. So, you know what? I can't pick up the phone. My hands are full of resin. And I only have a few pairs of gloves, so I'll just lift it up. It seemed to cover up all the little holes and stuff, but there's still some flaws that you can see, but it's okay. I just keep it for myself or something. A little hors d'oeuvre tray or something. <laughs> it's not perfect though, but so I'm saying my next one will be. <laughs> These turn out pretty. And that's it. So, yeah, I was a little disappointed, but you know, you learn through your first time doing things and that was just too hard. That took too long. And then my resin got sticky and that's why it made marks, you know, because it was sticky. It was, it was hardening. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour just a little bit. I may not have enough for my jar. And all I do with these is take a little bit of resin and you just put it on there like that. And that's it. It shines it right up. Looks real good. I just move it around quite a bit. Let's see this one real quick. Oh yeah. See how that shined it? Cause these molds, they don't come out shiny. So he's good to go. I like this one because I like that clear on the top and kind of gold on the bottom, whatever kind of stone that would be. But okay, so go take my gloves off, turn off my camera, and thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions regarding anything like this, feel free to ask. I'll try to help you out the best I can. Okay, everybody have a good one. Catch you later. Bye-bye now.